So the Bayer Grylls experiment that exposed female nature. So if someone watches episode one through to the end, what do you want them to learn as they sat there on their sofa? Um, I think one of the things is that, is that you know, it's, it's survival is in gender specific actually you know women might approach stuff differently to men but really it's about this it's about heart and character and i'm all about being independent not you know relying on men for anything but but fire is really important and the way that they have their camp set up they have an area to put wood to keep dry they have all the things they need to cook food they keep their fire going because it's right by their bed. I mean, they just have a really good system going for them, and we don't. You get to, to so then that would probably mean you might need men. Don't see the you? differences. Um, I'm be quite careful not to make it sort of a battle of the sexes and let people draw their own conclusions. It sucks that that we need the boys for some things. Um, what, what, what is it with a woman's nature to be so angry that they need a man? I, I, I really have a hard time grasping this because I think any man would be very happy to admit that we need women to continue to reproduce. We need women to nurture. We need women in many different ways. But you see it time and time again. These girls do not want to admit that they need a man in any way, shape, or form. They would rather die didn't admit it <laughs> yeah unfortunately there's things that we see unfortunately i wish we didn't you, you see how they pre-frame it with you know unfortunately although i wish we didn't it's why must you say it like that really need from them and i hate that it's always like a bar I hate that. Again, well, what can we get from you? And it's just so annoying. I don't know what their mentality is. Every time they ask for something, they act like they deserve it. And uh, they they make it sound like we are uh, taking more from them than they are from us, which is completely ludicrous. Gaslighting, entitlement, love it. It's hilarious. Perhaps this was happening back in the caveman days, right? And we're seeing it even in, the, in nature. So maybe this has always been around. So we've kind of had to baby them in many ways. Chris, so um, every time we turn around, they're wanting something. In a quid pro quo situation, someone in a position of power demands sexual favors in exchange for job benefits. You just want just a minute of warmth and then you can just struggle through it. And when the boys said that they didn't want us around standing around their fire anymore, unless sexual favors are given there'll be a loss of job benefits we had so many people writing in saying you've got to do a women's version and you know i thought hallelujah brilliant you know this is what we really want to do since we've been here yeah, so we've built this architecture we've built this society we've built these buildings we've built this shelter and now they can go around and proudly say they don't need men and it's just obviously complete crap because clearly you do in many different ways so stop acting like you don't we got zero sleep last night we stayed up the entire night froze soaking wet and we haven't had fire because it rained and put it out, so now we haven't eaten. It looks like the top here says... Oh my god! Does that man have a blade? Get the throw! Get the throw! We're sorry, buddy. It's about heart and character and, you know, determination. And, and that's not, you know, that's not just a domain of a woman or a man. I can't be cold one more second. I was thankful last night that we stuck to our guns a little bit after tribal and, and didn't run over and jump in the men's shelter. But going over there this morning, I have no shame. <laughs> I've never been so miserable. I couldn't get my tail over there to that fire fast enough. So their egos have been beaten to shreds to where they are no longer existent. So they're finally okay to swallow their freaking pride and say, you know what? We do need you. Can you please bring us in to your finely crafted shelter and your warm environment full of food? 
This is a very high fall. Make sure you keep your arms to your chest and land on your back. Yeah, Here we go. Bill jumps. Jonas jumps. Go, go. Go, Nina. Oh, my. Wow. Comes Alicia. Fuck our bad lead right now. So none of them were doing it correctly? It said he's just fall flat on the back? He gives it a go. With a serious injury holding that wrist. Hard, 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 hard. Come on! Courtney, are you okay? Uh, I'm really dizzy. I'm really dizzy. I don't think I can be on it. All right, everybody, hold up! Okay, so. It's unclear right now what it is for sure. Mm -hmm. Until you x-ray, you won't know. Yeah. Which means we're not sure her status in the game at this point. So why don't you take her out of here? All right, men, no tribal council tonight. Grab her stuff, head back to camp. Women, I'll see you tonight at tribal. Yeah. Those guys don't give a crap about any of us girls, and it showed it today. They don't care. So you guys just have to have special treatment by the men, don't you? Well, when you go around saying you don't need us, and you have such large egos... You know, you're not, people don't want to help people who aren't respectful and kind, so why would they go out of their own way? I don't know. We're not letting those muscles discourage us at all. All right, let's load up nice. the stuff, guys. Girls, if we all just keep our head in the game and try to stay, you know, together and just take the boys down, then we'll just be one huge ball of badassness. You notice how it seems like the women are focusing on the men, but the men are just focusing on the task at hand. What is that saying? Winners focus on winning and losers focus on the winners. I'm just saying, they're so, from all these interviews, they seem so obsessed, so bent on proving that they don't need men and they can beat them. What is it? 2,000 years later. This season's battle of the sexes hasn't been a battle at all. The men's tribe has won every challenge. Go, 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 go. Badassness. Words are words, but actions are actions. Image or clothes or makeup, or whatever our sort of stuff is, you know what? It's not what we are. You know, what we are is beyond all of them. Chelsea and I needed to wash our hair with fresh water so we can look shiny and clean. What people look like, it matters. You know, there's like lots of studies that have been done on that. So we thought if we put fresh water in our hair, our chances go up, up, up. Oh my goodness. The reality is, if you're real masculine, a number of women today are offended by that. Just Man, this guy was ahead of the curve. Just the mere presence of pure, unadulterated manliness infuriates some women today. It does. When it ought to charm them. You know what? I, I said what I said. If you don't understand the logic or if you don't agree with the logic, no, no, no. go ahead and do whatever you no, want. No, no, no. I'm just trying to make sure I heard you correctly. Does it matter the order? Damn it. Yeah, shut up for a minute. You I'm not in a good mood. Just shut I'm up. Relax, man. Yeah, he makes a great point. Why? Why are they so bent on not liking masculinity? A lot of these women can't stand masculine women. What is it? Is it because they know they have certain qualities that they don't have? It must be that. It must be some sort of envy, like jealousy. I, I find it so funny how our current culture nowadays hates a masculine man and will do anything to get him removed, remove his voice, remove his tongue, get him out of the spotlight they will do anything and everything to get rid of any shape of masculine man that's why there are no there are no good masculine examples leaders people to look up to you know i mean the way i always look back to it is a guy like james bond that's that's a typical masculine man that that people should probably look up to as men that's my view <laughs> Right no, there. you can relax on it. It'll be okay. So he so it looks like they let them into their camp and now they're trying to call the shots. 
Oh, you we can't started make working it up. on our shelter, and uh, lo and behold, as always, some of the girls came over and were like, "Can we borrow an amber from our fire?" They didn't have fire, um, so I don't think any of the girls want to stand over there. It's uncomfortable mooching off of them. I mean, they're all like, "Excuse me, move, move." I literally just wanted somebody to punch me so I can here. be knocked out. Here. Talking about well, we haven't been. Uh, warm all night blah 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 we're soaking wet we're cold we're freezing so the guys have just i guess had to get this mindset like no more deals it's off like you know this is a game we want to be nice but again we're playing for a million bucks like screw these girls i went out crab hunting this morning and came back and found six or eight of the girls in our in our shelter underneath our stuff sitting on our beds you know soaking wet you know sitting by our fire I need to borrow your car right quick. What kind of shit is that? You wanna borrow my car? Hell no! The worst thing in the world to me is being wet and cold. And it's been like that for a long time. Crying is a waste of water. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's different, you know, I mean, the women gets really quite feral and shocking, actually, in a way that I'd never anticipated. Ah, oh, fascinating. Back in the sea, shall we? Should we put this back in the sea? Erica starts throwing away some of the group's firewood. She's lost her mind. We'll put this back in the sea. It's just... It's That's how a child acts. It's like, if I can't have it, then no one can. I will sabotage the rest of the tribe for my emotional outlash. Stop! What is going on? She's now going to push some wood in the sea. Whoa, what the? Oh my god, I'm so fucking sorry. One of the women on the island, which was, um, <laughs> she goes, I can't afford to cry anymore, it's dehydrating me. <laughs> Warren, you're my hero. Oh, thank you, Jack. However determined the others can't do it. We are a team here, aren't we? Apart from Jane. You know what? We're de dealing with hormonal, irrational women right now. It, it's not even worth trying to negotiate. No. And at this point, I'm done. That's why men, you should not ever have to... F you should not find yourself negotiating with your women inside of a relationship. There's no need to do it. Their whole premise is all about their emotions, all about their feelings. And when you try to come at them with any sense of logic, what happens? They get offended. They cry because they feel entitled to everything. A lot of this behavior that we're seeing in this experiment here is, is very close to children. This is how children behave when they throw temper tantrums. They feel entitled to everything. And it's so funny because now we live in a, cult, in, a, in a world where everything is so easy. We don't need to worry about the basic things of survival because men have created, men have built it. And now women are just out here shitting on men, talking down on men, saying that they're oppressed, they hate men. All types of nonsense, calling just about every, tox, every masculine man a toxic, misogynist individual. It, this, it really is something. Talking about feminism, when they don't realize that... <laughs> You can't have feminism in a world where men don't support you. Think about that. Every time we caught a fish, it was like a big hurrah. Like, we know, we know we can do something that the boys have been doing every day. Stab a crocodile. Jesus. Gut it, and then carry it out of the jungle. With the glass ceiling broken, all the oppressed groups shall prosper. So me and Troy go over to the women's tribe, and we propose that they let us use the net because they obviously don't know how to use the net. So they go over, we, we, me and Troy go over and we say, listen, if you let us use the net, we'll give you 50% of whatever we catch. I'm just like 50 fish, that's enough. Everybody can have two, three fish each in both tribes. So Wait, 50 fish? Who said they were gonna catch 100 fish? Um, Jonas doesn't, ha he doesn't have a suave way about asking things. What we wanna do now, we're not pushing the issue, what we're going to do is just let them fumble around for a few more days and not get, catch fish. And they'll come back. And when they come back, the deal's different. It's not 50-50 anymore because they're coming back to us. The deal's more like... 80-20. Uh, is that all? <laughs> what do you mean, is that all? What the hell you want, a hand job? I want to fuck you up the ass. Whoa. 
What clip is this? Every day our number one priority is shelter. And we're so overworking on our shelter and it's still just, it's not, we got rained on all night last night. It's like every time we go to bed, we dread it because we know we're just gonna be sitting there miserable, soaking wet and cold until the sun comes up. Girls uh, came back over today um, they were they, they were absolutely freezing. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't stop thinking about them last night because I just knew that they were absolutely freezing to death. And then they come over in the morning and and they're absolutely frozen to death. And it just it 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 it, it, it pisses me off. And I just what does the nipple rings have anything to do with this? It's just not right. And that was just I mean outright wrong. You shouldn't. You just shouldn't do that. I guess he's simping. I want to help them. As yep. As White dwarf to the as much as I can because that's what it is is being a man. That's 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 what is being a gentleman. That's what's being a man is just forgetting about what is best for you guys and just following and listening to the women, doing what the women need, even though they're behind the scenes shitting on you guys. They wouldn't even concede to doing 50-50 with the net. So it's so funny how, you know, men can be empathetic to them, but the other way around, it never works. And so this whole thing about, you know, a real gentleman does what a woman wants. Well, you know, sure, if it's life or death, like, you know, like they say on Titanic, women and children off, I agree. But when it comes to this situation on a television show, fighting for millions of dollars, and they've been talking smack, saying, oh, we don't need the men, we don't need the men, and then it turns out they do, and then you go and try to make a deal, like, hey, we'll give you 50-50 if we can use this net, and they say no. Come on, man. That's what is, 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 is being chivalrous. Why the hell would you ever align with a bunch of girls? But I think that's kind of a man thing to do, where we're really kind of like thinking it through, like, like, systematically, what we have to do is like, you know, the army or something. 